Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today is the big, big question. Should you or should you not upgrade from your old Windows 7 or maybe Vista or XP to Windows 8? And if you have a very old operating system like XP or Vista, should you go through 8? Or should you go to 7? Um, this is not a video to tell you, you know, you should do this or that. It's more of a video to tell you what you'll encounter if you want to upgrade from one or the other. So that is Windows 8 that you see here with its tiles on the screen and um, it's a brand new way of working with tiles and this is what the start screen looks like um, no more start button yet there is a way with a thing called uh, classic desktop to uh, have what looks like a start button but yet Windows 8 is a brand new operating system its core has been totally rewritten it's really a new operating system it's not a Windows 7 with a, uh, um, a tile, a start screen that's just put on top. Uh, it's really, really a new operating system. But you've got the old, good old Windows 7 here with its start button and its desktop and its old way of working that resembles previous versions of Windows. Um, I'll give you an idea of if yes or not yes or not you should uh, actually go into uh, the Windows 8 bandwagon. Uh, first of all, if you're used to the good old-fashioned Windows of working, um, you know, with the start menu, the different folders, the way everything works, uh, you're in Windows XP or Vista. Um, or maybe you are using a Windows 7 machine, you're thinking, should I upgrade? Uh, generally, I would say that if you're not very computer savvy and you're not very, uh, you know, you're used to that good old fashioned Windows way of working, uh, I think you should stick with Windows 7 for the time being. For a major, a few reasons actually. Uh, one of the good reasons is that I do believe sincerely that Windows 7 is the best operating system of Windows yet. It's extremely solid, it doesn't crash, it's really a good operating system, it's much more secure than Windows XP. Uh, you should have been in Windows 7 for a while now and if you're not in Windows 7, if you're still in Windows XP actually, you have less than a year now for uh, before the um, update stop so um, if you have a choice get a Windows 7 machine you'll have a good old operating good old operating system uh, you'll have a something that resembles more what you're used to uh, meaning that you'll have the same window type the start button the different folders documents pictures and uh, you know you'll you won't be totally lost even though Windows 7 does have a few new features that if you come from XP uh, you might find it uh, a little different it's still basically a good old Windows and um, I think for most people that just are a little scared of change uh, well go to Windows 7 I think it's a great operating system it's supported by Microsoft until 2020 so we've got like seven years and um, it looks like it's going to be um, a little bit what we call the XP. It's going to have the XP uh, life lifespan. Life uh, what I mean by that is that you know Windows XP is the f oldest operating system that's uh, supported so long for by Microsoft. And uh, with everything that's being said about Windows 8, the time for the time being, uh, everybody seems to want to stick to uh, Windows 7 and wait. 
Now, if you're computer savvy, if you enjoy computers, I think you should jump on the Windows 8 bandwagon. Um, there are no big problems in Windows 8. Um, the major problems you'll have is a new core, you know, having your printers and your devices, uh, if they're several years old, work in Windows 8, that's going to be the challenge. But apart from that, it's an okay operating system. Uh, it doesn't deserve, that. that's for sure, it doesn't deserve, uh, I've, I've seen reviews and critiques of people saying, oh well, another Vista, another bad operating system. I'm not, I'm not uh, really in that uh, category. I don't think it's fair to say that. Windows 8 is a pretty good operating system. Uh, the main problem that suffers Windows 8 is its dual nature. You're half of the time in what looks like an old Windows operating system with a desktop and half the time in this new tile and new way of working with the start screen and that kind of you know loses everybody everybody's just kind of what is happening here I don't understand that's the major problem and it's a big shock if you come from an old version of Windows you, you, you buy your computer and you see this and you're like okay what do I do now um, most people are there a lot of my clients that you know bought a new computer uh, call me up and say okay I need help because I don't understand so um, but if you're computer savvy you like computers you like seeing new stuff I think you should get to Windows 8 and especially with the announcement that probably will be upgrading to Windows 8.1 in August 2013 and that um, it should be a free upgrade uh, yeah why not and uh, one word of caution, if you buy a Windows 8 machine, buy it with a touch screen. It's a touch operating system. It was designed for a touch environment. So if you are to buy a standard laptop with no touch screen, I would say stick with Windows 7. It's going to be in a greater operating system that's supported by every program and every device. But if you've got the cash to buy a slightly more expensive uh, laptop that has a touch screen, uh, buy Windows 8 machine. A Windows 8 machine with a touch screen is quite an interesting uh, device. And um, you can even look at devices like the Windows uh, Surface Pro or uh, all those little HP, Acer uh, devices that actually are Ultrabooks and that you know are almost tablets and laptops at the same time. So uh, touch environment for Windows 8 is a must and I would really really recommend that and if you don't buy a touch screen environment stick with Windows 7 I think that's gonna be better. As far the um, the stability of the uh, Windows operating system. Um, I find Windows 8 pretty much pretty stable. Um, all programs that I use don't really crash. Uh, even older programs that I use in the uh, Windows 8 environment work well. Um, where I've seen crashes is in the tiles in the uh, apps. I've seen crashes in the apps but not in the good old standard programs that you you can install in in what's called the desktop mode like this so if you um, have these old programs that you're installing they're actually working really well in Windows 8 and uh, that is quite a stable operating system where it is not as good as on the uh, the apps some apps work well but I've seen a few apps that actually crash all the time. I think there's improvements, improvements there that really need to be um, uh, installed. And uh, one of the things they've actually, uh, you know, made improvements in the core apps in the past few weeks. But I think uh, what Windows 8.1 is going to bring us is a more stable environment for the apps. 
Um, what we're more scared of is, is there going to be some kind of desktop environment that's, that we don't know. So, uh, verdict, you are afraid of change and are used to a good old Windows environment by yourself, a Windows 7 computer. And um, you're going to have a great, great computer. You're more adventurous or you like touch devices, then you'll go into the Windows 8 world. And you'll find that it's pretty cool to have all these different touch features um, in a good touchscreen laptop. So that's about it. Um, as for the rest, what can decide between Windows 7 and Windows 8? Your devices, if your printer, uh, scanner, any other device you have plugged in your computer is several years old, there's more chances it's going to work in Windows 7 and a lot less chances it's going to be supported in Windows 8. So uh, I'll have to be careful with that and see what, uh, what you can do. And of course, um, you can look at your device's uh, manufacturer. If you've got that HP or Epson or Canon printer that you want to keep, go on the website and check is it compatible with Windows 8 or 7. Uh, if it's with only with 7 and you want to keep it, then you might buy yourself a Windows 7 machine or else you'll have to change the printer. So it all depends on uh, basically what you have. But um, don't think of Windows 8 as being a bad operating system. Uh, it is not. It is not. Uh, I think the people that don't like it, they don't, they just don't like it because they don't like change. Um, uh, apart from the fact, you know, that there's change, uh, the operating system is is quite good and pretty stable, um, and it's it, it performs quite well too. So this was Windows 8 versus Windows 7. Should you should you not upgrade? Uh, up to you to decide with the information I gave you here and hope that uh, you make a good choice. So if you enjoyed these videos, just click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you're planning or just bought a new Windows 8 machine, well, click the subscribe button, of course, because we have hundreds of videos online about all sorts of features in Windows 8 and how to use them. So, uh, hey learn uh, with us and um, if you have any requests of a feature you'd like to see let us know and uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye